Tashima. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a front porch makeover. I'm going to be decorating it in a fall theme. So if you would like to see how I transform this space, then just keep watching. So the first project that I'm going to tackle today is making this sign to go on the front porch. It is not going to say welcome because everybody is not welcome. Uh, mine is going to say, did you call first? because that's the that's the real question if you didn't i might not answer <laughs> anyway so i'm going to try to get this done within a short period of time i don't have that much time in the day left i'm starting this project kind of late so it may take a couple days to get everything done but I'll let the camera roll and let you guys watch how i put the sign together i got these adhesive letters from Hobby Lobby yesterday. I think they were like $11 maybe. I got this Valspar sample paint. It's white. And I got a small jar because I don't think it's gonna take that much to stencil the letters onto this board. And then I got these um, stencil brushes so we'll see how these work I may end up using a flat brush but we shall see working on putting a coffee table together to go on the front porch it's gonna sit in front of the bench seat um, I have a little area rug that's gonna sit on top of and I brought a table runner that's gonna go across it too I think he's, he, he's gonna stain it like a dark color or I might paint it white I hadn't decided yet but we'll see the next project that I want to tackle is making a wreath to go on the front door. It's fall inspired. So yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up the grapevine wreath and I picked up 
these flowers that I think are so pretty and they were they were $24.99 but you know Hobby Lobby has the 50% off or half off thing um so I, I actually ended up only paying like $12 or $13 for these so that was good and these are always cheap so these this was six dollars so i'm just going to put that wreath together and my husband is working on the table i think that's all the projects that we need to do and then we can just start putting everything together and i'll show you that process but right now i'll show you how i do my own wreaths I've never ever bought a wreath at all. I've always put my own together, so that's another hobby that I like doing. So I'll show you how I do these wreaths. So my camera died. In the meantime, what I did was I just cut all of the um, stems off of the bunch that I showed you earlier. So I placed them onto the wreath, kind of how I want them, but I haven't glued anything down yet. You can still see the stem sticking out the back. I thought I wanted to put this, some pumpkins like around here somewhere, but I changed my mind. I did buy this sign from Hobby Lobby as well. It's like a chalkboard, but I wrote on it with this paint pen. It's like a white paint pen. So I just wrote the Davis family on it and it's going to go in the center of the wreath. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue all the flowers down and then it'll be basically done so i'll show you that process take it away take it away feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on so that should be glue on glue so what i'm gonna do now is just flip it over and use my wire cutters to cut the stems from the back Maybe a break, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Just can't stop thinking about you. I just 
just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you Alright, so I will get my door hanger and I'll show you how it's gonna look once I put everything together. So I almost forgot to show you how I'm going to attach the chalkboard to the actual wreath. So I'm going to be using this tie strap and I'm just going to be pulling it, the string that came on the chalkboard, pulling it tight as I can. And I'm going to use the tie strap to hold it in place. Okay, so this is what it looks like hanging. I think I love it. Super cute. Table almost complete. I think it's it looks so good. Yeah, that's table. <laughs> oh. Kids will play you. So that's this table that's going to go in the front yard. Yep. It is day two. Today I'm going to finish up. All I need to do today is just put everything together and then I'll show you the finished look. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now.
So I purchased this really cute scarecrow from Walmart and she was only $5.44. The pumpkins came from Walmart as well and they were $0.98 cent each. And the lantern came from Walmart and it was $14.97. This rug came from Ollie's. If you have an Ollie's in your city, I suggest you go because they have some really good deals. This rug set only cost $11.99, so $12 for the white and black checkered rug and the rug that goes on top. You can't beat that. So all of the plants in this video we purchased from Lowe's. The plants in this hanging basket are called Super Call Pachoa and it's mixed with Creeping Jenny. And then I purchased the mums as well from Lowe's and they had those on sale for two for $10. And the hanging baskets were $12.99 each. And they smell so good. Every time I walk outside, I smell them. So that's a good purchase. And they're so pretty. The welcome sign and the matching pillow covers were purchased from Amazon so it was only pillow covers I had to insert my own pillows but that was fine because I had some old ones anyway. Bay did such a good job on this table it is super cute. And he was coaching me along when we were staying in it the whole time. And he was doing so good. I should have left the audio in here because he was like, yeah, you're doing good. That's good. Perfect. If your man don't support you like that, yeah, find you another one.
these are actually placemats that I purchased from Walmart and I think they were two dollars a piece and I just took them and folded them in half and placed them side by side so that they will cover the entire length of the table. It turned out pretty good. This little truck came from Walmart as well. I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was like $5. And of course these pumpkins were 98 cents each from Walmart. just placing twinkle lights around the flowers I do want to add pumpkins but it was too early to get them right now so when it's time I want to add pumpkins in between the flowers and it's gonna look so cute with the twinkle lights I saw someone on YouTube and they had them around their their flowers and pumpkins and they were super cute I ordered them from Amazon so this is the finished product. I think everything turned out really, really well. It's really cute. It took longer than I thought, but it was worth it in the end. So if you like this type of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so I will know that this is the kind of content that you guys want to see. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.